Hello everyone, my name is Celeste and today I need to wash my makeup brushes. So if you would like to see how I go about that, then let's get right on into it. I'm starting off with some Dawn dish soap, it's scented, but I prefer the unscented version. And then also extra virgin olive oil, just to keep my brushes soft, basically. And so here is a makeup brush cleaner thing, matte, matte. And it has suction cups on the back and it's like a Venn diagram situation with different textures in different quadrants and whatever. And so that's what I will be using to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm putting it in the sink and just pressing it down to make the suction, suction. And here is my layout. I cleaned off the whole countertop, except that side of the sink. And this is a towel, but it's a, something happened to it, so it's a rag. And here are my makeup brushes. Not too bad. It's like, it's not, it's not terrible. It's doable. And that's my little setup. So I have my oil and my olive oil, or my olive oil and my dish soap on the side. And I'm dipping it in the olive oil first, like so. And then I'm going to dip it in the Dawn dish soap. And we're just gonna start scrubbing. So I'm scrubbing it like this. I wash my sink first. I wash it before and after because it's just, this is just messy. So keep that in mind. But um, I am scrubbing it like so, but I realized that I, like the water wasn't getting to it like I wanted. So I'm basically putting it over the drain for the most part. And um, I'm still going. And I'm doing this until I notice the water run clear. It didn't run completely clear, I don't think, because as I was drying this one off, I noticed that there was a little bit more makeup at the bottom of the sink, right there, right there, right there. So I'm going in again with a second wash. For bigger brushes, I generally do have to do like two washes because the makeup is, there's a lot of makeup. But the water is running pretty clear on this one, so I think we're good to go. And there was a little hole at the bottom of my makeup brush thing, makeup brush mat, to get the water to go under right there. But yeah, so my Harry Potter brush Ashley got me. Shout out to you, Ashley. Love you. And I love these brushes so much. And so I'm just showing you how I get this blending brush clean. And you just, I don't know, it's very relaxing. I mean, it's kind of tedious because like the wrist work oh my goodness but it's very relaxing to just you know play some music and start scrubbing brushes and that's how clean I got that one this one I actually I feel like I collect random makeup brushes I think this one was from Walgreens Walgreens like the pharmacy Walgreens yeah pretty sure um I just collect makeup brushes I think I'm obsessed at this point I have so many random makeup brushes. It's great though. And then here's another one. Another blending brush, as you can see. And this one didn't get all the way clean. It got stained. I think it was from <clears throat> Redacted palette, but I won't say names. That's all good. It still gets the job done. And then here's a little fan brush. That was fun to clean. I hope y'all are like washing your makeup brushes um, at least ideally once a week, but I can't even say I do that. I wash them. I, wa I, I do my best, you know? We do our best, but ideally once a week. And then here is um, another brush I used in. Woo! Yeah, that one was dirty, y'all. That one's my, um, I think it's my buffing brush yeah 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 yeah. that's my buffing brush so there was some makeup in that bad boy but we're getting it done and I went in three times three whole times to get this clean but like I said we got it done and wow yeah that was a mess but anyways you see me lining up my brushes on this rag slash towel and no, just cleaning these brushes, getting it going. And that's why I haven't done a makeup look in a minute, because I need it. 
I didn't even feel comfortable doing it. But here is my brush lineup. All the random ones, all the sets I have. Yay. So, also, I have sponges. I have the small little sponges, and then I have some big ones, the Real Technique sponge, and some random Ulta sponge, my first sponge probably. And I'm putting it in a microwave safe bowl, putting water and dish soap in it, and then putting it in the microwave for 30 seconds ish like 10 second intervals but it has to be hot but that doesn't get it all the way clean so I usually go in and use more dish soap and like really go in with individual sponges and start working the makeup out and so that's what I'm doing here and here's a real technique sponge this sponge ooh, it's one of my favorites though the flat side is the one I put makeup on, foundation on with, and then the pointy side is the one I put concealer on with, and so we're just, we're really getting in there. Like, really getting in there. But I notice, um, like I shouldn't do this with nails on, because then my sponges get, like, dense in them, like you could see right there. Yeah. Yeah. And so, we do what we can. But the corner of this sponge, I'd be going in with this sponge. So it's not gonna get all the way clean because I don't want to ruin my sponge I ain't got money like that but here we go here is my little lineup put them on a little paper towel to dry and that's that so here's how I keep my makeup brushes I have this little container things I don't know what they're called from Walmart I forgot how much they're like seven dollars at the most and then I put marbles in it from Dollar Tree because that's cheap and then I just put my brushes inside so they stand up and stuff I think I should put pearls but hey whatever it's fine so this is what I do my makeup brushes I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video bye guys